and this movie, the central premise that we operate from is that Judgment Day is inevitable. Terminator Dark Fate is the direct sequel to Terminator 2. The opportunity of this movie is to finish the story of these characters. Not only Jim Cameron is coming back to produce, Arnold's coming back again, and more importantly, Linda, to play this iconic character, Sarah Connor, is the best of all possible worlds. Okay, we're testing what we want to do here, and then getting closer to final. Terminator Dark Fate is as big as you can get. This is probably the biggest movie that's been edited on Adobe Premiere. I've had a relationship with Adobe for almost my entire career as a visual effects artist. I used Adobe to edit my own work 20 years ago. I was really excited when I heard this film was going to be done on Premiere because it allowed me to utilize some of the new tools that Adobe's really been pushing in terms of the collaborative workflow for a major feature film. We had four assistance editors. We had three visual effects editors. All these people are needing to access the project file and write into it at the same time as me, and we were able to do that. We've got 2,600 VFX shots, probably 10 to 15 people in timelines sharing at real time. It's the sort of deal breaker for these types of Hollywood movies. That's the kind of, I think, is a total game changer for Adobe. I'll be back. As Julian's cutting, I'll go ahead and start pulling scenes from him. If it's blue screen comps, I can dynamic link into After Effects, and with the background plates, easily go ahead and replace that blue screen so he doesn't have to sit there and, and watch a car scene with blue screen. He's got those comps already done. You can have people working in After Effects that are feeding back into the edit in a way that's very organic and doesn't waste a lot of time. I'm working hand in hand with the editor. He or she will come to me and say, I need this thing on the screen here, it doesn't exist. Make it happen. You're developing a concept that will ultimately be done at a, at a higher level by visual effects houses, but you need sort of a temp version to proof of concept. I'll be in Premiere, I'll be able to dynamically link that shot into After Effects and use all the Adobe ecosystem really easily to be able to create something as a placeholder or sometimes take it all the way to final. And that provides the editor what they're after to be able to show the director their vision. What I was able to do is I bought a $2 digital T800 model, and then I used a product called Mixamo, which is a motion capture library where I was able to upload that T800, rig it in Mixamo, and then I had access to thousands of different motion capture library movements. Render it out and then bring it to After Effects and then create a comp where I actually had a T800 in the scene when there would be nothing, and he was moving around and doing all these things, and it just blew Julian away. You may have changed the future, but you didn't change our fate. Action! We just made a major Hollywood film on Premiere, and absolutely it can be done. Premiere can withstand big, long-form movies. We have a lot of assets in this movie. We're 20 visual effects layers deep. We've got 30 audio tracks with huge VFX scenes. We do a lot of speed effects, ramps, color effects. Third-party camera shake plugins, yeah! split screens. We kind of throw all this stuff at the timeline, and Premiere makes it work. 